Our next guest is a very funny man. You can check him, at, check him out at Yuck Yucks as an active member of the Kaboom Hooray's comedy troupe. Give it up for Scoot Laird! Hello! Uh, yes, my name is Scoot. Uh, a lot of people ask me how I got a name like that. Uh, the short answer is, you guys, my parents did a lot of drugs, okay? Uh, cocaine was really popular in the 80s when I was born, and as a result of such, the prices of LSD just plummeted, and, you know, my parents are pretty frugal, so that's how that goes. <laughs> it's going to be my first of four jokes about trickle-down economics. I really hope you guys are paying attention. <laughs> All right, yeah. Um... A lot of people, they, they, they like to call me Scooter, which I don't mind, but I like to mess with them and be like, please, please, Scooter is my father's name. Let's just keep this informal between you and I, okay? <laughs> and old people don't get it. You know, they're used to, like, traditional names, like Tom and Roger and stuff. So whenever I meet them, they're always like, oh, what is the origins of that name? Is it Swedish? Is it Belgian? Where does it come from? Uh, neglectful hippie, actually. Yes, thank you. <laughs> that was very nice of you. I don't mind having a weird name, it's not a big deal. Uh, but I do think it kind of holds me back when I'm looking for a day job, you know? Because I imagine a lot of potential employers are just looking at my resume like, this moron can't be spelled Scott. <laughs> <laughs> Damn it. So close to making partner at that law firm, you guys. Hmm. I don't know. Uh, names are weird, right? I think a name defines you more than you get to define it. Like if my girlfriend came up to me and said, hey, I'm going to go uh, grab a drink after work with Fernando. No, you're not. Mm -mm. <laughs> I've never met this Fernando guy, but just based on his name, I assume he's got muscle definition and olive skin and bedroom eyes that you lose yourself in when you're talking to him. It's not going to happen. <laughs> but she's like, hey, Eugene and I are going to go grab a pint. <laughs> have fun with Eugene. I don't care. <laughs> you guys have a good time. Not even Scoot is threatened by Eugene. I went to high school with this girl, and her parents were brilliant. They kept the boys away from her. They named her Gertrude, uh, which is a polite way of saying that she's ugly. <laughs> I was pretty mean to poor Gertie. I picked on her quite a bit. Uh, I actually called her a troll once, you guys, and uh, she took it pretty hard. She actually jumped off a bridge, presumably to visit the rest of her family. <laughs> That's where trolls live. That's <laughs> hilarious. If you're not laughing at that, it's on you, not on me. It's squarely on you. Uh, no, it's really good to be back home in Calgary. Uh, this is my home city. I have born and raised here. I like it a lot. Uh, but uh, th there's a one time of year I'm not really into Calgary. It's that two-week period in the summertime where it's covered in a mushroom cloud of Axe body spray, and everyone acts like a tool. What's that called again? Oh, the stampede. Yeah, not a huge fan. I think it kind of false advertised. I think Calgary's actually a really cool place, a lot of cool people, cool stuff. But the one time a year we try to put our city on the map as like a first-class cultural destination, what do we do? We're going to put hay bales in office buildings. And the president of a billion-dollar oil company is walking around a pair of Wranglers offering him a pound cake on the side of the road. <laughs> and then we wonder why the rest of the world thinks we're a bunch of inbred rednecks. <laughs> what? Oh, George Strombolopoulos, everyone. Wow. It's George Strombolopoulos. George Strombolopoulos is stupid, and no one watches his show. <laughs> is that seven and a half seconds? Felt like an hour. We're good? Well, I have no more burns for George Strombolopoulos. Uh, see you, George. Woo! Yeah. George Strombolopoulos, ladies and gentlemen. Wash it out. Wash it out. Wash it out. Wash it out. Pin it up. Pin it up. Pin it up. Pin it up. Throw the boat. Fun the river. Fun the bank. Fun the bank. Give them the run now and give them the run. Give them the run now and give them the run. Bend them up. Bend them up. Bend them up. Shonda Paul.